Hello and welcome. This is Ageless John. Today I'll be talking about setting up for our Java tutorial. Click the Start Window icon located on the lower left of the desktop. Type Run. Hit Enter or double click Run. And this is an issue that we're going to do uh, to check the current version of Java as we'll see here in a second. Type Command in the Open field and then click OK. This will open the command prompt as you see here. All right, now type Java minus version. There's a space there. Hit enter, and the installed version should be shown as you see it here. This tutorial should work with any version after 1.81 underscore 1. Okay, so now that you've got that checked, if it isn't the version you need, this is how you download and install the Java JDK. Go to Google, type in the words download Java JDK and go down and click on the Java SE Development Kit 8 and we're going to download version 8. It may not be the same version but as long as it's version 8 or later this tutorial should work for you. Be sure to check on the agreement button. It will change to this and you will then need to install uh, but write down or remember exactly where it is installed. Uh, it will usually look something like this. Do you know what system you have in your Windows 10 computer? All right, some people may not know. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at that real quick. There's actually several different ways to check. I'm just going to show you two of the easier ones. Go here, go open up and like my computer, this PC. Right click, go to click on the attributes, and it will show you right there. You can also go down in the lower left hand corner of the, the screen again uh, with the Windows icon. Uh, type in the word control. That will come up and then you go into your systems and security. Click on system and security. Once system comes up, click on system. And again, you'll be able to find your system type. Mine is a 64-bit operation system, so I will choose the 64-bit version of uh, Java. Once you've got it downloaded, find where you downloaded it, double-click, and just go through the process of setting it up with yes. You'll have to wait for a second for it to begin to install. All right, then the menus will come up. And you just you can read that if you want to, but just click on through. Um, click on through again. This is where you'll have it installed. You can actually click the change and copy and paste, and maybe put that in a notepad of some sort so you'll remember exactly where it is or write it down. I put mine in notepad. Then just click OK, and you'll begin to install. And we'll have to wait a little while while it installs. Next, we're going to make sure that the files are associated correctly within your computer so that you'll be able to run your Java files in a command prompt. So again, go to your control panel, your system and security, once in system and security, click on system. Once in system, click on Advanced System Settings. Once in here, there are several buttons that you will need to click. I will highlight those. Environmental Variables. We'll open up a new window. When that opens, you need to click on System of Variables, the word Path, and then click on the word Edit. Then you will go and click New, 
and a new you're going to add the line right here where you installed your your Java JDK with the extra slash bin on the end like I have here type it in and then you press OK and then when it's pressed OK it should look like this or something very similar to this and then click OK again Next we have to begin working on getting the command prompt to work. I created in the root directory of C a new folder called AAA because it's easier to find and place things in AAA. So how do you do that? First of all we go in the lower left hand corner type CMD and the command prompt comes up. Right click the command prompt and left click open file location. You open this little window go up to here right click command prompt again go down to send to and left click the desktop create shortcut. That will create a desktop shortcut and we'll modify that to work with our Java. Then we go to our desktop, we'll right click on our shortcut, go to properties. And once you've got this open, you will go down to the advanced, click here for administrative run and then OK and then apply and then OK. And that will allow you to run as administrator. You double click on here and it opens up a command prompt that you can then use. Next, we're going to set up Notepad Plus. Basically, you go down to the website, go here, it says no, download, you download the version for your computer. It only takes a couple of seconds, it's not very big, and then you want to install it. The only thing that I want to tell you about this is it would be helpful if um, while you're doing this, you were able to choose this option here in order to get it to install a, a desktop shortcut. It might be a little easier for you it's up to you. Once you've got Notepad++ installed you need to come in here and close this and then you are going to change the language to Java. Let's go down here look for J, Java and then whenever you use it it will automatically set up with annotations and things for Java. It makes it super easy to use. In order to test this setup we're going to create this very small program called Hello World which is traditionally the very first program that programmers write. You can either copy it right off the screen or you can go to the link provided below the website. You can also probably just Google it and find it out there because it's a very popular beginning program. I'll leave this up on the screen for a little while and you should be able to pause and uh, copy. If you're not finished yet, you may want to pause the video. I'm going to continue on. So, after you've got this typed in, you need to save it in my, what I declared is to be the AAA. So I'll save it there. But you need to save it specifically as Hello World, the same way as it's spelled in the public class. That's very important. Next, we're going to run it. We want to open up our command prompt, and we're going to go down to our CD. That's not, and this, there's two different ways to do this. I'm going to do this the easy way. And then I'm going to go down CD dot dot. And then I'm going to go back up into CD triple A into my folder where I saved it. And then I'm going to check that with the directory to make sure it's there. And then I'm going to type Java C and then the word hello world as we spelled it dot Java. That will compile it. Now I will run it with the word Java. and then just hello world. Again, spelled held exactly the same. And there is your first run program. So, thank you for joining. This has been H with John. Now that you've got this up and running, you are ready to begin to learn Java. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.